Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with another video. As you can see on the screen, it's going to have major spoilers. Um, definitely for part 2, maybe for part 3, because this is something similar that I did prior to The Last of Us Part 2. And I just like doing this stuff. I've been doing it all across the video game industry for about maybe 5 or 6 years now. Uh, I kind of help with ideas, uh, getting into the new games, uh, maybe even the current game, if they're maybe looking for ideas across the internet. Uh, so this is what I have as far as an idea for The Last of Us Part 3, and again, it, it can potentially have spoilers, uh, and I do this uh, like a raw unedited, so if I end up stuttering or repeating myself a lot, I'm going to try and keep it within the 5 minute mark, so I don't go too crazy and start rambling on. I did, again, like I said, something similar uh, for The Last of Us Part 2, that video was um, around maybe 5 minutes, I think, and... It's just to kind of maybe snowball some ideas or maybe even spitball some ideas to get stuff rolling. Uh, and that's the thing when you're a director or a writer. Uh, one little idea can spark, you know, a huge idea uh, either for myself or any of the video game industry uh, studios and stuff like that. So, or even publishers. It doesn't have to just be a studio. It could be the entire publisher itself. I'm not going to go um, mention names or go across the names of... Uh, studios that I've helped. It's neither here or there. I don't look for anything in return. Again, like I said, this is uncut because this is stuff that I would want to play as a gamer, um, not necessarily as me trying to get some ideas put into video games. It's just stuff that I um, love to do and at heart, I'm a hardcore gamer. Or it used to be, I know when you get older, um, uh, you, you don't ha obviously don't have the energy as an 18 year old or a 24 two year old or 23 year old or whatever um you're more tired and stuff like that or you uh your schedule changes uh and that's another reason too that i mentioned prior to the last of us part two is i'm doing this now i don't know when the game's going to be made there's rumors of like next year there's a multiplayer game uh so i don't know what's going to go on down the road and the earlier the better and i tell people that a lot too the earlier you start with something uh the better it is for you even if it's like cleaning your room, you know, wake up, go to work. Uh, you don't want to procrastinate because it, it never turns out good. Uh, you end up procrastinating more and more and more. And then, you know, end up not completing it or, or whatever the case is. Uh, so, again, major spoilers. I kind of rambled on for like two minutes anyway. So, that should give enough people time if they don't want any spoilers for part three. Um, but Or if you're interested to see what kind of ideas I have for part three. Maybe it'll come out to be true. Maybe not. Uh, but it all definitely will have spoilers for part two. So the idea that I have now, and this might change again, I think Neil even said it and some of the writers said it, uh, whatever story they had for part two changed multiple times. It happens in movies, it happens in video games, it happens in books. Uh, there's early scripts, um, you know, there's screenplays, early scripts, uh, and maybe different ideas come across, um, that you come across every day and you end up using it or you know end up switching stuff or you know sparking new ideas and stuff like that and the last game was like a 20 hour game so this should be enough information i think to kind of carry or, or get the game going for stuff that i would want in the game so as you guys know in part two uh joel ends up getting killed by abby so i was wondering like there's a big gap in between the last of us part one when joel is about roughly 35 years old uh, he loses Sarah in that um, early scene, early part of The Last of Us uh, Part 1. Um, you know, Sarah ends up getting shot by a soldier. 20 years passes, then in Part 2 you get Joel at this age. I think he's around 50 or 60. Um, because Joel has to be at least in his 30s because I think Sarah was around like 13 years old, the same age as Ellie. So 13 plus 20... Um, um, you know, is like 55 years old. So I'm going to go with the 55 year old mark. So those 20 year gap of the alien, not alien invasion, of the outbreak, we don't know anything about that um, outbreak. I don't think he flashes back too much. I know they do in part two where him and Ellie are going to the museum and you get some of that. But what if we had like a whole entire game or majority of the game or half of the game where it's joel's about to get killed by abby and i know it's cliche but people love it and it works um if his life literally flashes before his eyes and he 
ends up seeing, you know, himself or remembering himself uh, after Sarah dies, maybe picks up after Sarah dies when he's 35, because we don't see any of that. We don't see the, the funeral. We don't see what happens to the body. We don't see, um, you know, anything like that. And that's even assume, assuming Sarah died, but of course he uh, she did, and that would be silly if she didn't. We've kind of uh, erased everything that happened after that, but um, to see how Joel reacted to that or what happened to Joel a year after that, maybe uh, five years after that, because you literally have 20 year gap of what happened with Joel. I would want to th I, see, I know they used origins a lot in the last of part two. You get to see the origins of Abby, how she came about. What if they kind of maybe did something similar where we get to see Joel from 35 to 55? And then maybe Ellie, the same thing. We see Ellie, um, a 10 year difference. I think it's pretty much a 10 year difference about, um, or 15 year difference. I don't know exactly how old she is in The Last of Us Part 2, but, um, same thing. We can kind of tiptoe around or use the idea of what happened to Ellie from, um, The Last of Us Part 1, the end till you know the last of us part two the beginning uh, i know you do get some of that mixed in with a lot of abby uh and i think that's what people were upset about it was like way too much abby they thought which i thought was cool like getting any backstory of a villain um is amazing or what you think is a villain because you can kind of pick size of ellie and, and abby who you think the villain is uh, but it would be a cool idea to get some flashbacks, um, or like l looking flashback on your life before you die. Maybe again, it picks up, um, instead of it picking up where Abby got started, maybe it shows Joel from the age 35 to 55 and we kind of see like his origin story. Uh, I know we get a lot of that in part one. That was like the shock factor. Of like what happens to Sarah and how he became how he became, but maybe they can start filling in more of that, even if it's in the multiplayer game, because I I don't see them doing a multiplayer game without some type of campaign or mini campaign attached to it. I think people would just complain maybe too many PTSD of uh, Black Ops Four. Um, Cold War had a campaign, Vanguard had a campaign. Uh, Black Ops 3 had it somewhat of a campaign too. So like in Black Ops 4, people were upset that it was just multiplayer in Battle Royale. Uh, unless they want to focus on Battle Royale and multiplayer for the new game that's coming out this year, the rumor is, or next year. But then again, everything has a chance of getting pushed back years and years and years. Maybe they'll start out with a multiplayer separate game, then say, hey, let's just clash the next title part 3. Put the multiplayer in there also because that happens in call of duty a lot that happens in a lot of video games where um okay we started out with its own multiplayer game which is the rumor right now for um for naughty dog and maybe they'll say hey let's just clash it with an actual campaign story which is the last of us part three let's just you know insert the multiplayer battle royale mode into the uh campaign or maybe they could break up the campaign into like chapters or, or DLCs. I know DLCs would upset a lot of people and people are always looking for something to complain about. Um, or it's going to be too bulky, like maybe too huge of a, a file to have multiplayer battle royale and um, campaign all in one game. But again, it would be kind of cool to get maybe some of that Joel backstory. Unless, unless Naughty Dog and Neil are 100% done with the Joel story. Um... That's what I'm saying. Maybe it'll be like a mini little campaign that would fit per per perfectly in multiplayer. Um, and then maybe we can throw in some Ellie stuff because I don't see them doing that without doing an Ellie. Uh, and then maybe we can throw in some Abby. So it, they could either save it for The Last of Us Part 3. Or, um, again, same thing with Ellie where we see her um, in the original teaser trailer. Um... And where she goes on her rampage to go find the people that killed Joel. Well, um, at the time we didn't know who was dead, so it could be it could be multiple people that have died in the original 2016 uh, reveal trailer. I think rumors were that it was supposed to be Tommy. Uh, rumor is that maybe even Dina um, was one of the people that probably would have maybe died or something like that. 
uh, in the original part two, but it ended up being Joel uh, when they ended up going all in uh, with <laughs> with Joel. Um, so I'm I'm saying that would be a kind of a great idea for um, part three, where you get some of the story of what happened to Joel from the ages of like 55 uh, to 35, a backstory, maybe even go in reverse order, uh, something different, instead of just going back to 35. I mean, that would be kind of crazy that like, it would be crazy, but it'd be a great idea. And I think it would work out perfectly if they just show like, um, I know people are, are saying if they see Abby, I mean, but you shouldn't listen to trolls. And I know Naughty Dog and Neil would never listen to trolls, but like, um, because I know they said if they ever see, some of them said if they ever see Abby again, they're just done with the game. They're just going to refund it, whatever. But how funny it would be if, like, you see the same thing playing out. Or maybe Ellie, maybe thinking more about Joel. Uh, but she wouldn't have known Joel at the age of 35. Um, she didn't meet him for, like, another 20 years after that. Uh, so it would have to be either Tommy, maybe. Tommy and Neil sharing story or maybe uh instead of ellie and joel ellie and tommy maybe their early origin story uh would be kind of cool like a young version of them see what they did from the ages of 35 to 55 i don't know what the age difference is i think joel is older um but that'd be a cool little thing where um you know and i they i think almost and i said this before too uh they almost have to scrap the Companion and have just a, a like a duo campaign, um, or have more characters. Maybe Joel and Tommy have their own squad, and you it's a four player campaign, but then that might get messy. Uh, but I don't know if that whole like having Joel and Ellie on the same screen together, I know they help each other out, and that's their kind of what they're known for and if you get rid of that then you don't know how many people are going to be upset if you move remove that gameplay um but ellie and joel could be a part of it ellie and tommy could be a main part of it but definitely would have to be some of that uh younger version of them would be a cool little origin story maybe even have like uh, i don't know i know people get upset if it's all guys but like maybe um a four-player squad maybe two girls two guys maybe Joel, I mean, Tommy's wife, and maybe you play as um, Tess would be kind of cool. You get Tess and then Tommy's wife, and then you get Joel and Tommy would be a great idea, like a full player campaign of sorts um, would be really cool. I know they, they looked at the open world idea, um, but anyways, this is a couple of things. I know I kind of rambled on, but uh, again, maybe there's a lot of time ahead of us for us to uh, get some ideas. I'll see you guys later.